Well, boys, today's tomorrow when TwitchCon is here. All right, boys, it's a time for all the uh, Cretans to get out of their basements and for the streamers to get out of the basements of their mega million mansions and peruse and mingle with some of their viewers. And for the most part, you know, TwitchCon goes off without a hinge. Not too much stuff happens, all right? Most people are actually decent human beings, and they're not the people that you think they are online because you have a false narrative in your head of what you think people are in real life. But some people are those people who you think are uh, <laughs> the Cretans, the creatures, the basement dwellers on Twitch, except for they don't stream on Twitch, all right? Because they know they'll get instantly banned. They stream on Kick. So if you guys have been watching any streamers on Twitch or seeing any clips going around on Twitter about TwitchCon, a lot of people are starting to talk about this one guy, his kick streamer, because of course the kick streamer is at TwitchCon, who's going around harassing streamers at TwitchCon, not just, you know, verbally, but also physically. Like, look at this clip of this man harassing NMP, LOL, and Wake. We'll see ya. Okay, okay. Oh, oh. Oh, all right, all right, all right, okay. I'm not doing more of that. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you, Big Wilder. I think. Oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You got that incredible. You got the best. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I don't think no female Twitch streamer has ever had a viewer come up to them and do all that. I'm gonna be honest here, you have to be insane to do that to a female Twitch streamer. You can't even have a brain to be doing that to a male Twitch streamer. Imagine if Wake decided, or actually Nick, oh my God, I feel so bad for Nick. If Nick decided to defend himself here and punch this guy in the face. I'm just saying, you, you can't be like, oh no, the guy was just biting his nipple. <laughs> Like, he's legit just biting Nick's nipple. Imagine if Nick punched this guy square in the face and started beating him up. No one's going to be on his side. We're all going to be like, if Nick is banned for this, Twitch really needs to uh, <laughs> look inwards on themselves. Because there's no way you're going to allow a streamer to come in here, start harassing and biting your biggest Twitch streamers, and then kick them out whenever they start defending themselves. But obviously, Nick was like, you know what? I, I, please get off of me, sir. <laughs> you know, he's a pacifist, all right? I don't think Nick would hurt a fly. But imagine if he did this, like, let's say, I don't know, Nick Merckx. Uh, let's say Nick Merckx was there. <laughs> we know Nick Merckx would have kicked this man in the nuts. And no matter how you feel about Nick Merckx and what he says about other people, we all can agree. That guy would deserve it. And also, if he did this to a female Twitch streamer, everybody would have been beating up on this man. The, the police would have arrested him. This would have been national news, all right? But, of course, when it happens to a male Twitch streamer, this is just, you know, another day on the job. So, this streamer, kick streamer, man, got kicked out of TwitchCon after doing this to Nick and Wake, and, you know, obviously, instead of him getting arrested for sexual harassment and saying that, this man legitimately was, like, on this man's nipple, biting it. Instead of him getting arrested for it, he just got a slap on the wrist. Don't come back to TwitchCon, all right? Hi, officer. Uh, David. Uh, David, you want me to go over? Yeah, of course, officer. No problem. I need to go outside the building. Yeah, outside the building. But then they took my badge, so I can't come back in. Yeah, no. Are they trespassing me? Yeah. Okay. I'll, I don't need you to explain it, then I'll just go. Okay, no problem. Oh, of course, of course, of course, officer. Uh, you see, I'm not a child. I would not run from you. But from them, from them... I'll do the dash, officer. If you come back after they give you the warning, yeah. if you come back, you will be arrested. Okay. For but, trespassing. But I'm allowed anywhere on the sidewalk, anywhere. I'm just not allowed in the building, correct? Correct. Legally. Okay. I just want to make sure I'm not breaking any laws or getting arrested. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I you appreciate it. No, no. I appreciate You guys are really cool. You guys are really cool. Yeah, it's just, it's just disappointing because they said to me I got kicked out um, for... Code, breaking code of conduct, but I'm a streamer, so I would be banned if I broke code of conduct, right? Wow. It's really confusing. They said I broke code of conduct, but they don't want to tell me. They be having diddy parties and shit, cocaine, everything. You guys need to check them off. I'm telling you, I swear to God. Last night they were having a diddy party, no cameras, no ex, nobody's allowed, just the partners. No, the fuck's that? Cause they're doing <sighs> fucking. I'm sorry, officer. I can't. I, yeah, I know I'm in the dress right now, but I can't be fucking with that shit, man. I'm happy they're kicking me. I'm saving my life. My life has been saved by you guys. No, I'll just leave. It's okay. Thank you, officer. I don't want to make your job harder. Thank you. No, no, it's okay. But it's, 
No, it's all right. So no, no point because I don't. Wanna, I, they took my badge and everything, so it's okay. okay. Thank you guys. Sorry Thank you so much. No, I appreciate you guys honestly. So yeah, this demented person was going on about, oh, they were doing a ditty party. You know, he was just making jokes at that point because he already knew he couldn't come back to the venue. He was like, I if I broke code of conduct, how come I didn't get banned on Twitch? It's like, my guy, you broke code of conduct at the TwitchCon event because you know at TwitchCon, probably the code of conduct would probably be don't touch people without their permission. I think that's code of conduct everywhere in the world, or at least I would hope. But you know, my guy, I don't know, this this creature couldn't, you know, have the human decency to not touch people without their permission. And then on top of that, not be weird about it and start biting like, oh my god, boys. I'm just saying. Again, if this happened to a female Twitch streamer, this man would have his balls taken. Alright? His balls would be on a mantle somewhere. Now, for the guy not being a Riri, he was trespassed from the venue for 72 hours. And he thought, oh man, I'll just come back after 72 hours, which is the end of TwitchCon. <laughs> okay, no, 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 chill, chill. They said the, the trespass is valid for 72 hours. 24, 48, oh fuck! 72 hours in fucking three days. I'm a fucking retard. Being the kind of streamer this person is, at least he's, you know, somewhat so rare that he's a uh, slower than individuals are. His connection is not as fast as others. But obviously, instead of him telling his stream, all right, boys, we're going to go somewhere else and harass someone else. He was like, there's a sidewalk outside. They said I can't come into the venue. They never said I couldn't be outside of the venue. And so guess where? <laughs> this harassment campaign continued because he was only just getting started with wake wilder and nmp lol he uh, he continued all right he continued his rampage with xqc oh my god bro xqc let me i need to suck his dick Maybe I'll what? get like. Wait, that's not gay, bro. It's like it's love, bro. Right, love bro. is love. Yeah, nah, I'm getting in his way and sucking his dick. I'm getting on my knees, ready for him. I'm getting ready for him, chap. Let me. Yeah, why you got a kick out of him, bro? Cause I only stream on kicks. Where's he going? He's going this way. What, what, what do you stream on Twitch? Yeah. Twitch. yeah. Look at them. Look at them. Come on, bro. What do you mean? I want clout. Give me clout. Put your, put your dick in my mouth. I'll get clout, please. Please, X! X, come on! Clout me! Clout me, daddy! I'm not good, no! Clout me! If you put your dick out, I'll be good! I'm just saying, anyone out there that thinks this is a, a good way to uh, make money or at least have a streaming career, it's not. Alright, let's, let's already say this. It's not. Alright, it's not. Boys, anyone out there that's thinking, oh my god, straight, why are you like showing this? Obviously, you're giving him the clout. No, I'm not. Are you going to go watch his stream? I have to know. Tell me in the comments below. Do you think you're about to go watch? You're not about to go watch his streams. We are watching an actual person self destruct in front of XQC because he thinks this clip is going to go viral and he's going to get all the Aiden Ross viewers and all oh, the XQC viewers, all oh, the my yo, you said X, put your dick in my mouth so I can choke on it. Like, my guy, no one's going to go watch this man's stream. Let's all be honest here. No one's going to see this and be like, yo, I need to see more content from this guy. No one's saying that. No one is going to go watch that. No one is. This is absolutely garbage content. The only reason why anyone has these clips is probably because people saw him on other people's streams and they were like, who is this guy? I need to get this clip because this man needs to be stopped. <laughs> now, obviously, boys, with a kick being the way it is, this man is a bane. All right, I think with the first clip going around where he's legitimately sucking slash biting on NP LOL's nipple, I think we all can agree even the site kick should ban him for that. Like, I understand that kick doesn't want to ban people for no reasons, misunderstandings. I, yo, I'm behind that all the way. This is not a misunderstanding. This man legitimately is going around sexually harassing male streamers because, A, he knows it's not going to get as much attention as harassing a female streamer. Imagine if he walked up to, like, I don't know, Pokemane, Senna, Fan Fan, someone like a big female Twitch streamer and started doing this. Imagine the repercussions on not him, but Twitch in general. Not even Kick would get the repercussions. Twitch itself would get the repercussions because allowing him to do that and then on top of that having security only kick him out of the venue and not, you know, arrest him for sexual harassment. 
it's insane. It's insane that this man is just going around, walking on the sidewalks of TwitchCon now, harassing <laughs> these Twitch streamers, and he knows he's getting away with it because he's only doing it to male Twitch streamers, who obviously underreport sexual harassment because most guys don't know what sexual harassment is, all right? You could probably grab some guy's ball and say, oh my God, bro, that's a joke. Oh my, stop, I'm not gay. Like most guys, sexual harassment, you gotta like stick a finger in their ass. And even then they're like, was it my fault? Did I, did I seduce him? Right, a lot of these guys, they're not gonna go to the cops because it's embarrassing. But like for the most part, it's literally just sexual harassment. That's what this is. He's literally going around Twitch sexually harassing streamers. And if he's not sexually harassing the streamers, he's straight up antagonizing them, just like what he's trying to do to Miss Kiv in this clip. Someone's ass. Oh, it's not for sure. Working the lines. Oh wow. It's crazy. Look, 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 look. Oh no, 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 no. Ah, Miss Kiv. No, no, no. Ice Poseidon, baby. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. You got made by Ice Poseidon. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 Uh, so yeah, as you guys can hear, this man is, of course, one of Ice Poseidon's means. Whatever happened to Ice Poseidon? I don't understand how he actually attracts these kind of people around him. Like, understand that he'll stream with almost anyone. Like, you have to be borderline a psycho killer before he won't, you know, stream with you. But also, at the same time, it's always, like, the most demented people. I don't understand. This man always has like the worst streams ever with these demented people that always gets him in trouble. And yet he continues to stream with them. But yeah, boys, that's the uh, Twitch terrorist, all right? He's running around TwitchCon as we speak, harassing people. Also, he did technically get banned on kick. I, I know I lied earlier. He did get banned on kick earlier, but only for eight hours, you know, sexually harassing streamers. <laughs> That's an eight hour ban, all right? Now, if it was a female streamer, that's a 24 hour ban for KK. You really gotta make a statement with the bans when it comes down to streamers sexually harassing females. But if it's a male streamer, only eight hours. It was such a brief one to where I woke up and the man was unbanned. I mean, like, I'm pretty sure he probably wasn't even streaming whenever he got banned and unbanned. He was probably like sleeping <laughs> during that whole eight hour period that he got banned. So I'm just sitting here like, what? He learned his lesson. He, he had to take a nap. He was in timeout. But I'm sure he's going to be back out there working hard at harassing Twitch streamers. Just like how Nikocado Avocado worked hard to trick us again into thinking he actually was fat again. Click this video right here to see why is Nick fat again? How did he get fat again? Where did all this weight come from? But boys, other than that, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you all tomorrow. tomorrow.